Well, in this morning's health alert, more than half of our bodies are made up of water. So not a surprise, hydration is key to our well-being, affecting everything from our physical performance to our cognitive function. So that begs the question, how much water should the average person consume each day? Well, it's a question that begs to be answered, but there are no easy answers because there are a range of factors that influence proper hydration. Nancy Unger and her personal trainer, Jay Mack, are hard at work at the Battle Ropes at the Beverly Hills Club. It's exhausting. And it's all part of Jay's plan. If you're not sweating, you're really not working. Nancy prepares for these sessions and for life by drinking water and staying hydrated. I have my big, huge mug and I just make sure that it's full and that I'm draining it several times a day. But Nancy and Jay's hydration needs are not the same, according to Allegra Picano, a registered dietitian at Henry Ford Health. Water needs are going to differ depending on um, someone's activity level, um, how active they are, their age, their gender. Yes, gender, but it's not about sex, it's about muscle. Men's bodies typically have a little bit more muscle, so generally speaking, they're going to need a little bit more water than women. But a woman with more muscle, like an athlete, would need more water than a less muscular man. And women need more water during pregnancy. Same thing while we're lactating, we use a lot of that water to produce the milk. The water we consume is crucial to our overall health. It's a key element in cerebrospinal fluid that protects our brains and spinal cord. It's used by the brain to create neurotransmitters used in digestion from saliva breaking down that very first bite to converting food to nutrients to eliminating waste and regulating body temperature through sweat. With um, every single cell in your body requires water and it's so for every single process that happens in your body we need that water. According to the National Academy of Medicine, adequate total hydration for men 19 and over is 125 ounces a day. Just over 100 ounces should come in the form of a beverage. For women, the total is 91 ounces, with about 74 ounces being consumed from beverages each day. An often overlooked source of hydration actually comes from what we eat. Fruits and vegetables is your best friend. Even if you can't get water, oranges, apples. And yes, you can count your coffee, tea, and dairy. Low fat is best. Sports drinks count too, but they come with sugars and other ingredients that aren't as healthy or beneficial. Is alcohol fair game too? Does that count? Yeah, it absolutely accounts. There is some um, water in there as well. It can promote you to use the restroom a little bit more. Um, so as long as you're drinking water with it. Allegra says moderation is key. Back at the Beverly Hills Club where Nancy is working up a sweat, proper hydration was once a goal, not anymore. Now it's just pretty second nature. Well, remember, our bodies know how much water we need and they will send you signals. We just have to listen. Now, if you want help tracking your water intake, of course, there's an app for that. There are even apps that turn hydration into a game to encourage you along the way because it can be kind of boring if you're thinking, I, I just have to drink water or plain old water. Yeah. But all of the things you drink, be it soda, tea, again, sugar, so you got to be careful with soda, right. but tea, all these things count towards your hydration. And it makes you look good, feel good. So listen up and, and if drink. If you don't up. like the taste of water, which I've heard from some people, because that's crazy to me, because I love the taste of water. It's like the freshest thing you can taste. But if you don't, you know, electrolyte water that's got flavors. Mm -hmm. I always drink electrolyte water. In the I like that because it's the little powders you pour in there. Yeah, you can just shake it up, pour it in, and then mm -hmm. you got a little, you know, up. strawberry, pina colada, whatever flavor. And some <laughs> water just comes with electrolytes in it, so it's already yeah, already uh, there.